welcome to Masquerade channel. How are you all? I hope you are all fine. In this video, I am going to explain 6th class maths, chapter 7, fractions and decimals. In that, exercise 7.3. Okay? Exercise 7.3. Fifth question I am going to explain. Fifth question. What is fifth question? Here answer the following. Also write how you saw them. Okay. See first one is 5 by 9 equal to 4 by 5. This is a question. Right. Is 5 by 9 equal to 4 by 5. Is it equal or not? They are asking. Okay. Can we say directly by seeing that numbers whether they are equal or not? No, we can't say. Why we can't say? Why? Because those are unlike fractions. By seeing numbers, we can't say directly which is smaller, which is greater, or is that both are equal or not? So, then what we should do? How we can? Say whether the two numbers are equal or not. First we can make them into like fractions. Okay. So here 5 by 9. It is 4 by 5. Okay. Now first of these unlike fractions convert into like fraction. By taking LCM of the denominators. Okay. Otherwise simple way. This, numerator, this denominator you can multiply with this fraction. This denominator you can multiply with this fraction. That, like that also we can do no problem. Okay. Otherwise take LCM and do that. Like that also we can do. Just simply I am taking second fraction denominator and uh, I am multiplying with the first fraction. Okay. See how 5 is the denominator. Just I am multiplying with 5. Multiplying and dividing. So Product of numerators by product of denominators, right? So, 5 into 5, 9 into 5. 5 fives are 25, 9 fives are 45. Now, here, this denominator is 9. We can multiply and divide with 9. So, product of numerators, 4 into 9. Product of denominators, 5 into 9. Right, 4 lines are 36, 5 lines are 45. See here, now we converted the unlike fractions into like fractions. Now see the denominators. Denominators are same. Okay, so we can call these fractions are like fractions. Now compare the numerators. Compare the numerators, then which is here 25 by 45 is less than 36 by 45. Why? Because here 30, when we are comparing the numerators, why we should compare numerators only? Why not denominators? Why? Because denominators are equal. Just to compare the numerators. 25 is less when compared to 36. Okay. Now, is these two numbers are equal? Can we say? No, those are not equal. Those are not equal. Why? Because this fraction is small. Why? Because 5 by 9, 25 by 45 now. So, 5 by 9 is small. 5 by 9 is less than 4 by 5. So, we can say those are not a equal fractions. Okay. 5 by 9 is not equal to 4 by 5. Now simply we can say like this process. Okay. See one, once more is 5 by 9 equal to 4 by 5. They are asking. Okay. Here we found that 5 by 9 is not equal to 4 by 5. Okay. This is the process how we should do. Okay. One more. Actually this model you have 4 bits. In that one bit I explain. One more second bit. 
just want a given let us see also there same method only na oh, I, I think so no need you can able to do by understanding this right next uh, sixth question sixth question is let me read the question here Hashit read 25 pages of a story book containing 100 pages Lalita read 2 by 5 of the same storybook. Who read less pages? Give reason. First, what is given in the question? Given that. Harshit read. Okay, first to total number of. Total number of pages. In storybook. 100 pages. Okay. Harshit read 25 pages. Number of pages read by Harshit. Yes. This we need to find out. 
who read less pages? Is it Harshi or Lalita? How we can? Simply already number of pages read by Harshi is given. But here indirectly given. Not that to pages. Just to part is given. First this convert into pages. Then we can compare these pages and these pages. Then we can say who read less pages in the storybook. Now see. Number of pages. Read by Larita is equal to 2 by 5 into 100. Now do the cancellation 5 are the 5 20 is up. 2 into 20. 2 20 is 40. So number of pages read by Larita 40. But what about Harshit? Only 25. So 25 is less when compared to 40, right? 25 pages is less when compared to 40 pages, right? That's what we can say that less who read Harshit. Directly I am writing here. Harshit read less pages when compared to Lalita. Here also we can write. So, less pages read by Harshit. Read by Harshit. Okay. In this way we can find who read less pages in the given storybook. Okay. Once take the screenshot, how to write the problem means how to write the solution. Actually in word problems, it is very important what they are given in the question, what we need to find out. Okay, if you write the steps then easily you can get the solution. Okay, this is very important while doing mass sums. Order is very important. Okay, in mainly in 10th class board exams, they will see the steps. In maths, we should follow first one, what is given in the question. Second one, what we need to find out in the given question. Third, Feni formula, solution. Okay, calculation we can call it as. Next, conclusion. Conclusion means what we got the answer in the given question that is the conclusion these steps are very important in maths okay so in this video these sums are made up i hope you understand for more videos subscribe my channel support me thank you have a nice day bye